I'm Billy Busby with PNDS Transportation Breakdown Department. Uh, we're doing some, some segments on break week coming up on us. Uh, we're going to break this out into segments of videos. Uh, we wanted to start by talking about brake test, how important it is to do a brake test on a daily basis. We'd want to chalk the wheels on the truck first, uh, start the engine, build the air pressure to the full capacity of the tanks, uh, shut the engine down, uh, then turn the ignition switch back to the on position. Uh, then when we release our parking brake valves, give it just a few moments to relax the truck. And then you want to start with a firm press of the service pedal and keep that pedal down. And you want to observe your gauges and look for no more than a four PSI drop in a, in, in a time span of one minute. Uh, once the, there's no leak detected, uh, if there is a leak detected, you need to contact the maintenance department immediately. Uh, with no leak detected, you would continue to do your pump down test and that's pressing the service pedal fully, fully at least five to six times. What that's gonna do is keep your automatic slack adjusters in adjustment uh, to keep your brakes at optimal adjustment. And then what we wanna do is we keep our doing our pump down we also want to look for that that light to come on it's our visual warning we also want to look listen for our audio buzzer keep continuing to pump down and then we're looking for the valves to pop out when the spring brakes release and that should occur somewhere around 40 psi uh, once the brake valves have popped out completely uh, the brake test is now complete uh, and the truck is satisfied, you're satisfied that it did pass the brake test. If it fails for any reason, any reason at all, uh, you should contact first your driver manager and also contact maintenance department so we can get you some help to uh, rectify the issue that caused the, per the performance of the test to go wrong.